Okay, so this is our topic, factoring general quadratic trinomials when a is greater than 1. Okay, dapat yung a natin is more than 1 or greater than 1. Okay, so we have to factor fac uh, 6x squared minus x minus 2. So, take note, si a natin is 6. Ibig sabihin, this is greater than 1. Okay, so yung general form ng ating uh, quadratic trinomial ay ax squared plus bx plus c. So, kunin natin yung values ng ating a. Okay. Yung value ng a ay 6. Then, yung b ay negative 1. Meron coefficient na 1 dyan. So, this is negative 1. Yung c naman ay negative 2. Okay. So, ngayon, i-apply natin yung asterisk method. Ito yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. Si asterisk Okay, yan. So, itong part na ito, ilagay natin ito yung product ng AC or A times C. And dito yung value ng A. Dito sa kabila, value ng A. Dito sa baba, ito yung first factor or factor 1. Ito rin ay second factor or factor 2. Okay? And dito yung value ng B. Okay. So, kunin natin yung mga values nito. So, value ng AC or product ng AC then value ng A at saka value ng B. So, A, C or time, A times C, kunin natin yan, A times C, so value ng A is 6, multiply natin kay C na negative 2, so that is negative 12. So, negative 12 yung value ng ating A, C or product ng A, C. Ngayon, si A dito is 6, di ba? Ayan, 6. Dito rin sa kabila, 6 din yan. Si first factor, hindi pa natin alam. At saka si second factor, hindi rin natin alam yan. And then, yung B natin is negative 1. Ayan. Ay, sorry. 1 lang pala yan. Negative 1. So, ngayon, hanap tayo ng mga possible uh, factor of 12 na ang kanyang sum ay negative 1. Okay, dapat yung factor natin, ang product niya ay negative 12. Yung sum niya ay negative 1. Okay, so, what are the possible factors of negative 12? Ito ko na lang ha, negative 12. Then, yung sum niya dapat ay negative 1. So, so negative 12 times 1, that is equal to negative 12. Diba? Negative 1 times 12, that is equal to negative 12 pa rin yan. Then, 2 times negative 6, that is negative 12. Masa lahat ng mga negative 12 na, na, na product. Then, negative 2 times 6 is also negative 12. Possible factors of negative 12. So, negative 3 times 4, that is negative 12 pa rin yan. And negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. Kita pa ba? Ayan, so kita pa, pinakahuli pa talaga. And then, kunin natin yung sum nila. I-add natin yan, positive 12, ay, positive 12, negative 12 plus 1, that is negative 11. Negative 1 plus 12, that is uh, positive 11. Negative 11 to isa, positive ito. Then, positive 2 plus negative 6, that is negative 4. Negative 2 plus 6, ay positive 4 negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1 and negative 4 plus 3 ay negative 1 ok, take note, yung hinahanap natin dito ay ang product ay negative 12 so lahat ito, tama okay? pero ang hinahanap natin ng kanilang sum ay dapat negative 1 ayun, sa pinakababa so, therefore ito yung factors natin, negative 4 and positive 3. So, lagay natin dito si first factor na negative 4. Okay. Then, dito rin sa kabila, yung second factor natin is positive 3. Ngayon, i-ano natin yan? I-reduce to lowest term. 6 divided by negative 4 kasi yan eh. So, divide natin siya by 2. Dito rin divide natin siya by 2. So, result dito, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, negative 4 divided by 2 ay negative 2. Okay? So, ito yung kukunin natin mamaya. Ayan. 
Dito naman, reduce din natin to. So, divide natin siya by 3. Divide din natin ito by 3. So, ang result dito, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, ito na yung mga factors natin. Okay? Magayon natin dyan. Okay? Si 3x. 3 at saka yung x. Huwag kalimutan si x mo na manunuko. <laughs> Okay, kasi x yung uh, coefficient ang ng variable natin eh. And then, plus, ay no, hindi siya plus, negative 2. Negative 2. Kayaan mo yan, diba? Kung dito naman sa kabila, positive 2. At huwag kalimutan si x mo. Kasi 2x times 3x, 6x squared yan. Then, ito, yung 1 or yung positive 1. Plus 1. So, this is your factored form ng ating... 6x squared minus x minus 2. Bye-bye. Okay, this is factoring general quadratic trinomials when a is greater than 1. So, let's factor 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, the general form ng ating quadratic trinomials ay a x squared plus bx plus c. So, kunin natin yung value ng a that is equal to 8. This is, this is greater than 1. Diba? So, yung b natin is positive 2. Ayan. Then, si c ay equal to negative 3. Okay? So, let's use or let's apply the asterisk method. Ay, ay, wala na na-increase. Ito na lang. Ayan. Asterisk method. Okay. So, ayan. Kula pa pala. So, dito, magayon natin AC. Yung product ng AC. Ito yung value ng A. Value ng A. Uh, first factor or factor 1. Second factor or factor 2. So, dito naman, ang value ng B. Okay? So, kunin natin yung value ng AC or product ng AC. Value ng A, value ng A, at saka value ng B. Si AC, yung product niya, AC. A times C, di ba? So, A is 8, C is negative 3. So, therefore, this is negative 24. So, lagyan natin dito, yung AC natin is negative 24. Then, yung A is 8. Okay? Dito naman, 8 din yan. So, yung first factor, hindi pa natin alam, at saka yung second factor. Yung B natin, alam natin yan, kasi nandiyan sa given. So, 2. Okay? Ngayon, so, hanap tayo ng mga possible factors of negative 24 na ang kanyang sum ay positive 2. Kaya, possible factors muna tayo sa uh, negative 24. Factors, negative 24. Then, yung sum niya, dapat ay positive 2. So, what are the factors of negative 24? Giving uh, 2 times uh, negative 12, okay? Equals negative 24. Negative 2 times 12 that is negative 24 ano pa uh, 12 uh, 21 times 20, negative 1 times 24 is negative 24 negative 24 times 1 is also negative 24 ano pa ba 6 okay so 6 times negative 4 equals negative 24 Negative 6 times negative 4. Ay, no, no. Positive 4 na. Okay. Equals negative 4 pa rin yan. Okay. So, ito lang yata. Ngayon, i-add natin yan para makuha natin or makita natin yung hinahanap natin na 2. Si 2 plus negative 12, that is negative 10. Okay. Negative 2 plus positive 12. That is positive 10. 1 plus 24 or positive 24. That is positive 23. 
negative 24 plus 1, that is negative 23. Positive 6 plus negative 4, that is uh, positive 2. Ayan na. Okay, then negative 6 plus 4, this is negative 2. So, hinahanap natin, yung product is negative 24, tama yan lahat. Then, yung sum niya dapat ay positive 2. Ayan. Okay. So, yung first factor natin is 6. Nagayan natin dyan, 6. Second factor natin is negative 4. Okay, nako ha? Ngayon, i-reduce to lowest term natin kung ma-reduce siya. Kung hindi na, huwag na natin pilitin. Okay, ma-reduce yan. Ayan. So, we will divide 8 by 2. Kasi dapat kung ano yung i-divide mo sa 8, yun din kay 6. So, 2 ang divide natin dyan. So, that is 4. Dito rin kay 6. Divide natin by 2. That is 3. Okay? Ito yung kukunin natin mamaya. Dito naman, divide din natin to by 4. Okay? So, that is 2. Divide din natin to by 4. That is negative 1. Okay? So, yung kukunin natin mamaya. So, ngayon, kunin natin yung factors natin. Yung hinahanap natin. Okay, so first is 4. Tapos x. Huwag mong kalimutan si x mo na manuloko. Ayan. Then, plus 3. Plus 3. Okay. Dito rin sa kabila, 2. At huwag kalimutan si x. Then, minus 1. Minus 1. Okay, so this is your factored form ng ating 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. Bye-bye. Let's go.